Hey everybody, Preston here, also known as Godzilla Hawk, and I'm your two-time KOTA World Champion. And today I'm going to give you guys your WWE 2K14 review. I promised you guys I was going to do a review on the game, but I didn't have time, and I just want to get out and give you my thoughts on the game and what I honestly think about. So this, there's some likes and some dislikes, so I'll get into that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So I got it for the Xbox 360 because I got it for my birthday. If you didn't see the the uh, what I got for Christmas video, I got those two things for Christmas. And um, yeah, so I went to play. Um, that's why I kind of took a while, long time because I wanted to try to play enough of it so I know I can so I could get used to okay what do I like and what do I not like and stuff like that so we'll go on to the road to Wrestlemania uh, there's there are positives and there are negatives on this uh, the positives are it's very cool that uh, you get to relive some of the Wrestlemania moments and you can relive on um, some of the Wrestlemania matches it's very cool um, and it's actually not easy either um, it could be pretty difficult at times on certain ones, um, but I mean it's still a lot of fun and everything. The gameplay is good, the graphics are good because you know I have the Xbox 360, so I mean the graphics are good, the gameplay is pretty good, and it's a good challenge. The only complaint I have with this game, and and a lot of people are gonna agree with me on this, is the fact that there are so many WrestleMania matches that weren't on here that kind of got me concerned and what I'm trying to say is like a lot of the, like the really good Wrestlemania matches weren't on here uh, for example you had, Wrestle, you had Edge versus Undertaker for the World Championship at Wrestlemania 24 I don't understand why they didn't have that match I mean that was a great main event and it was a great match um, so I didn't understand why that wasn't on the card you know on the match so I was a little concerned. Uh, WrestleMania 22, the only match they had on there was the uh, Edge vs. Mick Foley, which I'm a huge fan of that match, but at the same time, it's like, that's the only match? Like, didn't you have John Cena and Triple H for the WWE Championship? You you can't just, you couldn't just add that, another match to it? Like, that kind of caught me off guard a little bit. In WrestleMania 21, you had Undertake, I'm sorry, not Undertake, um, well, you had Undertaker Randy Orton was a good match, so why didn't you guys put those in? And then why didn't you put Triple H and Batista when Batista won the World Heavyweight Championship for the first time? It was just, there's, there's so many matches that were on here, that weren't on here, that were good and watchable. And then you had some matches that weren't the best, and they were on here. Like, for example, Big, uh, Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg at WrestleMania 20. Um, that was a disappointment because it's so weird because in the game, it, it should have been like, it should have been the game itself. Like that should have been what happened in reality, but that's not what happened. All they did is just tie ups and let goes and a few bumps and that was about it. It, it was awful. So that kind of made me mad but hey you get to play as Goldberg so a lot of people aren't complaining about that but yeah it's but uh, overall the re three the WrestleMania thing was pretty cool um I just kind of wish they added some matches on there I kind of wish they um yeah I kind of wish they added a few extra matches on there um like even like you could even add like the Money in the Bank Iron match at WrestleMania 22 with uh, Rob Van Dam, Matt Hardy, or Shelton Benjamin, Ric Flair, like you, you could have done something like that. You could have added the Money Bank Liar match, and they did. So that kind of made me think, like, like we're was that really not a good match? Because I thought it was, but that's just my opinion. Then we go on to like the creative content. We'll start with there. Uh, the creative content is pretty cool. I like the fact how you have more options to choose. Like you have different arena tires, you have different shoes, of uh, tattoos, and because with the Wii you can't really do a whole lot, but with the Xbox you can. 
So, like I said, I got the Wii just because I could keep my GameCube games. Um, so that's why I did that. And, um, but the credit content's pretty good. The only complaint I have is like the champion create championship stuff and the create arena have kind of the same problem where you can't just like write down you know the name of like the arena or you can't write down the name of the championship like you can't put like symbols on it like for example like I want to try to make my KOTA world championship I could put KOTA on the top and have it all red I had to actually make it and then have to download it and that's a pain Especially when it, this controller is super sensitive and I have to actually make lines and it looks stupid. It looks like a kindergarten did it. Did. So that's a really big downer for me. But um, yeah, so besides that, I mean the credit card is still pretty cool. I would just change them. I actually have options to put logos on there instead of just having to make them and then download them by hand, so to speak. And they look like shit, so yeah. But um, next is The Undertaker Streak. Uh, as you know, I did post a video of me beating The Undertaker Streak for the first time on my channel. And it was a very intense match. If you have not watched it, go watch it now. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, Undertaker Streak, everyone's been telling me, oh, it was, it's hard. It, all he does is reverse and this and that and they did not lie. They did not lie. Those rumors are true. Undertaker is one of the hardest, I would say, bosses in any video game history. Because all he does is just reverse and reverse and reverse. And then that's why I think that I think that's why pe that's why that's why this is why I think this is why a lot of people think The Undertaker is so hard. It's not just because, you know, oh, he kicks out or or he, his strikes are too powerful. It's the fact that he keeps reversing and it's really annoying because you could be getting him and then he reverses and then you could reverse the down or he can reverse and then it's too late. Um, there's some odd reason I cannot reverse his finishers and signatures. I can reverse like basic punches, I can, you know, reverse like basic stuff, but when it comes to signatures and finishers, I, it takes a lot of luck, and I rarely get it. Like, I've gotten to reverse them a few times, but not a whole lot, so it's very hard, but it's a good, it's like Mitch said in his Wrestling Gurus um, video, that it, it's awesome, it's, it's frustrating, but it's a good frustrating, because it makes me want to keep playing it. And playing it over and over and over again until you finally beat it. And once you beat it, then you get that applause and you feel like you've like achieved a medal. You like you feel like you've won the Olympics. Like you won an Olympic game. Or you finally landed on the moon. It's that kind of victory in a way. Because you worked your butt off this entire time. And then you finally beat Taker. And it's very satisfying. Uh, I actually have beaten Taker quite a few times on defend, defeat the streak but uh, besides defeat the streak there's also defend the streak where you play as taker it's basically kind of like a gauntlet match where random superstars of random order come out and your goal is to basically beat them all and survive uh, I was able to eliminate 48 superstars but I lost to Hulk Hogan so that was kind of a problem yeah, so I was kind of upset about that I mean it's not easy either I mean it gets easier but Every like every app, every other five guys that keep coming in, it just gets slowly gets harder and harder and harder until finally it's just you're too weak. It's just uh, you're just like uh, how do they do this? So yeah, so it's but I prefer to defeat the streak more um, than defeat defend the streak. It's just my honest opinion. It's just I don't like those type of games where they just go on and on and on. Now, it gets repetitive and boring, but with Defeat the Streak, you can figure out new ways, and you can practice more, and then finally you can start getting good at it, and then you can reverse everything, and you can get a high score. That's why I do it, to try to beat the streak more and get higher points. That's why I like doing it, and plus it's fun. 
So if you don't like, you know, just facing by yourself on computers, you go always just try to beat the streak because it's more fun. It's actually a good challenge. Uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about before I, you know, go is the um, the live. Um, the Xbox Live. I when I got the Xbox, I got a card that allowed me to get Xbox Live for free for a month. So I put in the code, and now I have it live for about a month. So I say probably another two, three weeks, I would say, it will expire. But until that expires, I figure I can talk a little bit about it. Um, it is fun. I like the fact how you can play online with others. But at the same time, like there's so many hackers, I remember this too, where someone would play as Deadpool. Someone created Deadpool and was playing as him. And twice by the same guy, like he would just out of nowhere hit me, hit big, him move on me, roll me up, and when I'm trying to use, hit the you know, little pin marker, it would not show up at all. Like it, it, it was invisible. I couldn't see what I was doing, and they always pin me, and I was, I was extremely pissed, and I was just wondering to myself what just happened. All I did was just take a move, and now the thing. I thought there was a glitch, but it wasn't. It was a hacker. The guy was a hacker. Um, so that kind of pissed me off. And I don't like it in live. How the connection keeps just restarting. And just like slow, stop, kind of move, slow, stop. And it's just annoying. And I hate the markers on the live thing. It doesn't happen on the actual real gameplay footage. But when you actually play it on live with other people. It's extremely hard. Because what I think it happens is. It's not like as soon as you press the A button, then it just goes. It's you, it, you hold the A button, and it takes a second, and then it starts to go. So even if you get on the mark and you hit like that, it'll just like not hit the mark. So you gotta be like pitch perfect. You gotta get used to it. So it's very frustrating, but it's still fun. Just mainly because I could face others online, like my friends and everything. And also because of the create content, like Superstars Arena, how you can download them for free. And then you can play as them. Like I download um, Chris Benoit, I download uh, Hardcore Holly, Hurricane, um, Greg Helms, James Storm, um, Ono, Cassis Ono, I believe his name is. And yeah, I've downloaded a lot of superstars. I'm still trying to find other superstars as well to download. But it's cool that I can download all these arenas and other stuff, so I, that's pretty cool. But um, so overall, what do you think about the game? Um, besides a few um, dislikes, uh, if they didn't have dislikes, I'd probably give it a good 10. Uh, if they fixed the dislikes and everything, fix all that stuff, uh, I would give it probably. And then I'll probably 10, but because of the dislikes, I had to give it fair, and I say give it probably an, an 8. An 8 out of 10. I mean, it's still fun and everything. Like I said, there's still a lot of dislikes I don't like about, it, but overall, it's still a good game. I highly recommend it if you're a wrestling fan. It's very fun, it's challenging, and it's very entertaining. Um, so that's all I have to say is if you want, if you're interested in checking out the game, Get the game, you won't be disappointed. For the most part. But, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget, um, there will be a link down below. And I want you guys to vote and tell you who you want for your next Who's Better video. I'll give you guys another Press of Pet Peas episode, I'd say about a month or so. And then also, on, not this Sunday, but I believe it's next Sunday. No, no, yeah. Not this Sunday, and not next Sunday, but the Sunday after, which is the 26th, I will try to do Royal Rumble Live reactions. If not, I'll definitely be doing a review. Actually, I'll probably do a review anyway, um, just for the hell of it, um, because I like doing wrestling reviews, and I figure I can do it. Uh, so I'll try to do live reactions for Royal Rumble, and we'll also be having a Royal Rumble contest our own. But I'm not going to give anything away because I don't have really anything to give away. So if you want to actually kind of get a reward like a Guru Lounge or anything, just follow Mitch and try to get into his contest. That's all I have to say. So take care, guys. Take care of all my peeps. And 
that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys soon.